did Kamala Harris call the police criminal animals and a cancer? No, that's not true. The story was published by a liberal satire website that tries to fool Trump supporters and Republicans into sharing made-up stories that are clearly marked as satire when you actually click them. Articles from the site are frequently copied by foreign-run fake news websites. The people liking and sharing these stories are enriching foreign website operators or a liberal from Maine via the ad revenue generated with the content which is probably not what they expected or wanted. The story originated from an article published by Bustatrol.org on September 17, 2019 titled Kamala, Our Police Are All Criminal Animals, They Are a Cancer, which open. Quote, Apparently Kamala Harris feels that the way for her to win the Democratic nomination for president is to continually foam at the mouth in her speeches and insult everything that true Americans hold dear. And by true Americans we mean, of course, the Trump faithful. In the past month she has suggested interning Trump supporters should she win the White House and has blasted our military, calling them, soulless cowards, now she's moved on to another group that should only be getting respect for the great work they do in an extremely difficult and trying job. The nation's police. In a speech yesterday before her home crowd of Crips and Bloods in California, Kamala Harris had nothing positive to say about our boys in blue, quite the opposite in fact. An excerpt follows from what will surely be the final nail in the coffin of a failed presidential bid, the police in this country are nothing more than thugs. Most of them anyway. I used to be a cop so I know. Those that aren't thugs allow the others to be thugs. And that makes them complicit. All police are criminals, end quote. Users on social media only saw this title, description and thumbnail. Quote. Kamala, our police are all criminal animals, they are a cancer, apparently Kamala Harris feels that the way for her to win the Democratic nomination for president is to continually foam at the mouth in her speeches and insult everything that true Americans hold. End quote. The story was posted in the category, satire and or conservative fan fiction, and the stories about interning Trump supporters and calling the military soulless cowards were also made up by the site in earlier articles. Quote. Fake news, Kamala Harris did not say, after we impeach, we round up the Trump supporters, lead stories did Kamala Harris threaten to round up Trump supporters and did she hint she would put them in prison camps after President Trump was impeached? No, that's not true. The story was published by a liberal satire website that tries to fool Trump supporters and Republicans into sharing made-up stories that are clearly marked as satire when you actually click them. End quote. Quote. Fake news, Kamala Harris did not say, our military are soulless cowards. Their budget must be cut, lead stories did Kamala Harris say that the U.S. military are, soulless cowards that deserve to have their budget cut? No, that's not true. The story was published by a liberal satire website that tries to fool Trump supporters and Republicans into sharing made-up stories that are clearly marked as satire when you actually click them. End quote. There is also no record or video of Kamala Harris saying any of the things she supposedly said. The site is part of the America's Last Line of Defense network of satire websites run by self-professed liberal troll Christopher Blair from Maine along with a loose confederation of friends and allies. Blair has been in a feud with fact-checking website Snopes for some time now and has also criticized other fact-checkers in the past who labeled his work fake news instead of satire. In reaction to this he has recently rebranded all his active websites and Facebook pages so they carry extremely visible disclaimers everywhere. Every site in the network has an about page that reads, in part, quote, about satire before you complain and decide satire is synonymous with comedy, satire sati, renounce use of humor, irony, exaggeration, or ridicule to expose and criticize people's stupidity or vices, particularly in the context of contemporary politics and other topical issues. Everything on this website is fiction. It is not a lie and it is not fake news because it is not real. If you believe that it is real, you should have your head examined. Any similarities between this site's pure fantasy and actual people, places, and events are purely coincidental and all images should be considered altered and satirical. See above if you're still having an issue with that satire thing. End quote.